Hi, my name is Janice. I teach science here in Clearwater, Florida, and I'm here to talk to you today about the characteristics of a salt molecule. Only really, salt doesn't form a molecule. Salt is actually something that forms what we call an ionic compound. Because it's made of ions. Now, ions are things that have either positive or negative charges. So actually, when salt forms, it forms from two elements, sodium and chlorine. Sodium has a positive charge that it wants to, um, that from the electrons it wants to give away. And chlorine has a negative charge from electrons that it wants to get. So sodium actually gives an electron to chlorine, and that way they're both happy. They kind of have their outer shells filled. And that creates these positive and negative charges that hold them together. Now, because ionic compounds are made of ionic bonds, they have certain properties. For instance, they're very, very strong. They're almost like a brick wall. It's almost impossible to break them apart. And because of that, they have what we call really high melting points. You have to heat salt to a really, really high temperature to get it to melt. One of the other characteristics of ionic compounds is that they're very brittle. So if you have something that you're able to bend into a bunch of different shapes, it's not going to be made of an ionic compound. An ionic compound is going to crack or splinter or fracture when you apply some pressure to it. So again, ions, like salt, are going to have high melting temperatures, they're going to be brittle, and they're going to form crystal solids like rock candy where you've probably seen little crystals on, your, um, on the side of your boat or something like that if you've ever been around salt water. And because of that, they're going to crack or break. And those are the characteristics of a salt compound. I'm Janice. Have a great day.